Hello everyone and thank you for joining us. I am Tamir Geffen, the CEO of ALM Toolbox. Today I'm going to have a discussion with David Cohen. Hi everyone. David is a product manager of our new ALM Vitality product and the upcoming ALM Performance Tool. So these are the topics we are going to discuss today. First, we will talk about the new tool. Then we will show a live demo of monitoring real ClearCase, ClearQuest and Jenkins system. Then we will explain the rationale behind this tool, why we built it and what are the unique attributes. Then we will explain how it works. Later we will discuss, discuss which components you should monitor on ClearCase and ClearQuest. Then we will discuss if it's necessary to monitor legacy systems or project. Then we will see we will see how does ALM Vitality help you to apply the best practices of DevOps. And lastly, we will have time for questions and answers. Let's begin. We will start with a two minutes introduction to ALM Vitality and then we will continue to the live demo. David, would you like to tell us a little bit about ALM Vitality? Yes, thank you, Tamir. Hello, everyone. I'm very excited today to introduce to you the latest addition to the ALM Toolbox product family, the ALM Vitality. ALM Vitality is a monitoring tool which allows you to understand the health status of your ClearCase and ClearQuest environments and alerts you via the dashboard and by email when your environment is not running properly. What we did with the ALM Vitality is we took our services department's experience our people in the services department have more than 10 years experience working with ClearCase, ClearQuest and Jenkins environments and used it to create ALM Vitality. We investigated things like which issues are the most disturbing to the customer, which are the most time consuming and which are harder to detect, etc. The product of this comprehensive research is the ALM Vitality. The LM Vitality gives you full coverage for both IT infrastructures and application. David, can you tell us about the challenges we faced? Uh, the challenge of the design was mapping the critical components and IT resources for each one of the environments and deciding on the optimal test to check the status of the component. Another challenge we faced was providing the full picture without swamping you with information. The LM Vitality is a tool made for busy people, people that cannot allocate the time to manage the servers and the other application components. This allows the user, in case of a failure, to find the root cause of the failure faster and deal with the core of the problem. David, it sounds quite complex. Can you tell us about the customization options? Sure. We aimed for a fully configurable tool so you can customize it to your environment's needs. You can decide which tests run and when to run them. You can define thresholds to ensure warning messages when you are starting to run of, out of licenses or storage space. You can also configure different email addresses for different servers so that only the right people will get the notifications and much more. The way we build this tool is as a framework with very powerful and efficient infrastructure for generating tests and processing the data. This allows us to add more critical monitoring tools and of course more tests as per our customers' needs. If you wish to try the ALM Vitality, please contact me directly at davido at almtoolbox.com. Okay, thank you David and let's move to a live demo. Are you ready? Yes, okay. So, this is our dashboard. It has two main sh sections or tab, tabs called Live Map and Notifications. The Live tab is a table view of the status of your ClearCase, ClearQuest and Jenkins servers. Each server type has its own table with its own unique test columns. For example, the ClearCase server has a checkout test and the ClearQuest server has an application health check which is unique to ClearCase. These are applicative tests, correct? Yes, that's correct. 
they simulate the system behavior from the perspective of an end user. The rows of each table are the monitored servers and each column is a test. Every cell displays the status of the last run of the test. There are five states for each test. The green one means that the service is operating normally. Red means that the test returned with an error. A yellow is a warning icon. This icon indicates that the system has reached one of the warning thresholds you defined. Blue means not polling, means that the test is not scheduled to run. Gray means that the test did not run even for even one time. The second tab is the notification tab. The system produce, produces a notification when it encounters an error or a warning in one of the tests. You can click on the notification to see the details and the description. In addition, you can configure the system to send an email with the notification. Yes, this is the email notification. This is the example. Okay, let's talk a little bit about the reasons we decided to develop these tools. I remember that the main request that always repeated itself was how can we get more information about the system and how can we get it in real time? That's right. And we have also gotten a lot of demand from organizations that simply do not have the time, knowledge, or the resources to maintain the environment and deal with the issues. That's correct. I think the main challenges uh, that we saw our customers deal with were the first one, defining what components to monitor, what is the best practice to monitor these components, uh, number three, even after answering those questions, you still need to find the time to develop and maintain it, and uh, lastly, full coverage, so you get consolidated, consolidated solution that alerts you for all critical components, both IT and application. Yes, exactly. That is why we decided to gather the demands and issues together with our experience and create a system that monitors your critical components and IT resources and alerts you when a component has stopped functioning. This gives you key information and helps you find the root cause faster and more efficiently. David, I'm sure our listeners would like to understand how the system works and what the system requirements are. With pleasure. The LM Vitality consists of three main components. The first one is the settings application. This is the configuration tool for the ALM Vitality. It allows you to add or delete monitored servers and configure the service test and their parameters. The second one is the graphical component. This is the graphical dashboard of the system. The third one is the monitoring service. This is the heart of the system. The monitoring service is the component that schedules, runs, tests, and analyzes the results. ALM Vitality can monitor all Linux, Unix, and Windows versions, and it does so in a non-intrusive and secure manner, for example, using SSH protocols. ALM Vitality is installed on, on a Windows host and can be run on-premise, or it can be run as a cloud service where we run and manage the system while it remotely monitors your servers. David, can you please explain to us what exactly are we monitoring and why it's important to monitor so much information? Yes, definitely. The tests we are performing for each environment are a mix of IT resources and application testing. This mixture of well-planned tests allows you to learn about the problem faster, troubleshoot it, and pinpoint the failed component much faster than it normally takes. So, for clear case hosts, we are checking. We test to see if the monitor service is available in the network. For the LBD service, we test to make sure that the clear case service is up and running. If if the test fails, you do not need to look for the reason why your click has stopped performing. You can start investigating why the service failed. The third one is the listening port. We test to make sure that all the needed ports are open and can, 
and can interact with RPC calls. When this test fails, you know that any network interaction with clear, clear case server will fail. The next one is the VOB checkouts. This applicative test basically tests whatever, whether your clear case server is doing what it should. We test the checkout command because it's one of the most common commands in the system. The next one is the available storage. We monitor, this, we monitor the status of the server's available storage capacity. We let you define thresholds and get the notification before you run out of space. We decided to monitor this parameter because of the importance of preventing scenarios of full disks that leads to, vo that leads to VOP corruptions. And the last one is available licenses. We check the number of available licenses and again let you define thresholds and get a notification before you run out of licenses. Now let's move on to the ClearQuest tests. Okay, so we start again from the host alive test where we test to see if the monitor server is available in the network. We move on to the ClearQuest web server, checking if the web server running ClearQuest is responding correctly. Third one is ClearQuest web application. This test checks to see whether the web application is running on the web server is responding correctly. In case of a failure, the combination of the last two tests, web tests, gives you a clear picture about the layer in which the failure is. Is it in the web infrastructure or in the application layer. Next, next test is the database availability test, which checks whether the ClearQuest database is responding. This test is doing more than checking if the processes are up and running, uh, but actually testing to see if the database is responding correctly. The next applicative test is the application health. This applicative test allows us to know if the application is running correctly by running clear quest queries from the end, user, end user's perspective. This powerful test is a combination, in combination with the IT resources test, allows you to get updated instantly that ClearQuest is not performing and to understand the root cause of the problem. The next test is the available storage where we monitor the status of the service available storage capacity and we let you define thresholds and get notifications before you run out of space. We decided to monitor this parameter for ClearQuest because the amount of free storage plays a key role in the performance of the ClearQuest application just as, as it affects a clear case server. And the last one is available licenses. We check the number of av available licenses that let you define thresholds and get notifications before you run out of space, out of licenses, sorry. I would like to re-emphasize that our framework will allow us to add more tests if customers have some more specific needs. Yeah, thank you, David. It's important to know that if you have a clear case, clear quest or Jenkins environment that you consider to be critical to your organization, it's important that you monitor it either by yourself or by using a third party tool. David, from time to time we meet organizations in which ClearCase and ClearQuest are a legacy environment that, are, that only serve old but critical projects, most of them in maintenance mode. Can you please explain how these organizations can benefit from using ALM Vitality? Definitely. After meeting and talking with customers like you mentioned, we saw that they have the same challenges regarding monitoring and maintaining their ClearCase and ClearQuest environments. First because the system is not infrequent used by programmers, it usually takes a lot of time to even understand that there is a problem. Second, when they find out there is a problem, they usually do not have the time, knowledge, or the people to solve it fast enough, and it only gets harder with time. And the third one, and the worst part is that these clear case and clear quest servers are not going anywhere and are and the situation is not going to change. 
Yes, it, it is true that our company's expertise is helping in these scenarios, but we thought how we can help our customers to become better informed and more efficient and to get better control over the clear case and clear quest environments. Furthermore, I've seen organizations using the same server for both legacy and production systems. So using our tool would allow you to give the same level of service for both platforms and actually save time, money, and manpower for your organization. David, now let's talk about DevOps and see how ALM Vitality helps by promoting the DevOps, the, the DevOps practices in the organization. First, I would like to explain in two words what DevOps is. In the words of Wikipedia, DevOps is the practice that emphasizes the collaboration and communication of both software developers and other IT professionals while, while automating the process of software delivery. When you use ALM Vitality, you are able to get a better picture of your development environment and by that give a fast and high quality service contrib contributing to a better and faster development process. Just think about it. If you have 20 programmers in your organization and each one of them loses 30 minutes of work because the clear case or clear quests are slow or worst are down, the organization loses 10 hours of work a day. Yeah, thank you, David. So now let's, uh, let's, let's proceed to, to see if there are questions. So please hold on for, for a few seconds. Okay, David, I, I see here uh, questions, uh, two or three questions. Let's start. Uh, the first one, why should, why should I use ALM Vitality and not one of the other monitoring tools uh, out there that allows me to monitor servers and environments? Okay, so the ALM Vitality was tailored specifically to monitor ClearCase, ClearQuest, and Jenkins environments. When you install one of the, of the other monitoring tools, you still need to decide what components to monitor, define and write all the elements for the monitoring process tests. Users of these tools told us that it usually takes about six months to a year. With the LM Vitality, we already did all of the work and research for you, and you get the system that starts monitoring and showing status in less than one hour. Yeah, we, we actually put all our all our knowledge into this tool, and you enjoy and, and you just enjoy it. Okay, second question, uh, David, uh, does the ALM Vitality support performance monitoring as well? Uh, we are in the last stage of development of the new tool that provides smart performance monitoring for both applicative and IT resources. We will soon release it. If you would like to evaluate it when it's released, please send an email to apm at almtoolbox.com or leave your details, and leave your details. Yeah. Okay, thank you, David, and thank you all for joining us. If you have any questions in future, do not hesitate to contact us at apm at almtoolbox.com, and to learn more, you can visit our website at almtoolbox.com slash vitality, I hope you learned new things and you enjoyed. Thank you. Thanks again and have a nice day.